Episode 27, hiking is stupid. You have to be a special kind of crazy to do this to yourself every day. I haven't even made it back to the trail yet and I'm already crying. I'm miserable. I know I'm going to shake it off, but right now... I want to curl back up in bed with a bucket next to me. On the upshot, our little sink is working amazing from yesterday. Look at that. You could fill up a whole thing with that bad boy. Okay, we made it back to the trail. There's Maven not crying and being obnoxious. <laughs> um, we've got a hundred foot up, fifty foot down, two hundred feet up in the next mile, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, then we'll go down for a little bit, and then we got two more mountains to climb. Then we go down for a long bit, I think. So, but we'll get to stop after that second mountain that second more mountain at the next shelter for lunch. So that's the plan so far. That was the shelter we were going to go to tomorrow. Try corner, I think is what it's called or something like that. But what about second breakfast? <clears throat> yeah, second breakfast you're going to have to do while you walk. We got a long walk today. 13 miles and some change, I think. I think we just did the change coming up from the shelter. First view of the morning. Very nice. Second view of the day. <sighs> I will not fall off a cliff. View. View number what? Four? Four. Can you sit there? I don't know how something that eats just like nuts and berries most of the time makes scat that big. But I'm positive that that's bear poop. And very fresh bear poop. Number six, unless you count the bear poop. So I stand by my hiking is dumb, but I'm feeling much better now. And I'm feeling much dumber and continuing to hike. It's all good. Bear went over the mountain, a bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to poop beside the tree. To poop beside the tree. To poop beside the tree. We're coming up on view number seven. I can see it. Maybe. Whew. Number eight, but you can't pick up the city down there like I can. We're gonna call this view number 10, even though it's probably more than that. I don't know. Tree monster is trying to eat me. Whoa, it's so ginormous. Today I have mastered the art of the emotional roller coaster. My emotions have been going up and down more than the mountains have. <sighs> it's a nice day so far. Or is that? When we were up there, we could see all the loose, the loose dirt and stuff, and we could see it. But really appreciate what you're doing. Well, 
Honestly. Ah, oh, awesome. Thank everything that's holy. We are pretty much at Tri Corner Shelter. That's not quite halfway through our day, but it is the part where we get to take lunch, put our feet up, collect water at the shelter. This is where we were gonna stay last night. And then maybe uh, put some ice cold water, or stream cold water anyway, on my knees, because they are banging on me right now. This is a steep step right here, hold on. Whew. ow. I try to avoid the stairs when I can and take sort of the little slide next to the stairs. Is I like that. Looks like the shelter's pretty big. You see all that white up there? That's all shelter roof, I believe. And this looks like tent sites for people during through hiking season when it's full. They got bear cans that are undoubtedly locked. And uh, I don't know, is that a privy? Right there? If so, this is one of the easier shelters to survive at. I can see why those volunteers use it as a base camp right now. Oh, super nice. Bottom shelf's kind of low. This is the widest one we've been in, isn't it? Horses must be tethered. Where the heck are all these horses supposed to be coming from? Oh. I mentioned the awesome volunteers that we passed earlier are staying here and using this as their crew camp. If we had made it all the way to here last night, we would have had someone to talk to. That's true. All right. Everything is super close. They've got a big old garbage bag hanging from the bear cables. Water is right bloody here, pouring beautifully out of this pipe. And look at these flowers. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Uh, ah, right out of the mountain. Privy and bear boxes and bear cables all right there. It's like heaven. We've made it to heaven. And heaven is very cloudy. Sure, I did it all ready to take a walk. They're waiting for you to drop food. They keep coming down to check. That's what it looks like to me. Let's hobble over to the tri corner. Nah, privy. There's like floods because of that stream right there, but the stream's right outside the shelter, so super duper bonus. Um, I forgot to ask those people if trash was the reason why they keep locking all these bear bins. Because in Georgia, they ask you to use the bear bins instead of the bear cables because they say that um, the bears have gotten sm smart enough to figure out the cables and so the bear bins are better. Not surprisingly, since there are caretakers staying here right now, everything is so nice and clean. Oh, startled a bird. Very nice. Oh look, there's a pink cord coming out of the toilet. I wonder what that is for. Weird. Not trash, it's an upside down trash bag, which is the smart way to keep your pack dry when you're hanging it up. There you go. Alright y'all, we've got 7.7 .7 miles left to do. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. 
<clears throat> that will be Dan's longest day. Actually, my longest day, too, actually. It will be uh, like half a mile longer than my longest day. Um, so hopefully we can do 7.7 .7 before it gets dark outside. Because that's how much we have till the next shelter. Cosby Knob. Cosby Knob. I don't know. View number like 11 or 12 or something. View number like 13 or so. Like 14 or something today. Rock hens or something. We're going to call it like 15. Even though it's not coming out very well on the camera. There's a better shot of number 15. Pretty hazy. This is view number 16. We are on an old helicopter landing pad. Thus, a bit of concrete right here. Ah, oh. beautiful. Maybe 17. 18. Or thereabouts. Right here, there was a plane crash. And that is, I guess, what's left. We're in this sort of shice situation. We've got a storm coming. I'm in a lot of pain. We've got 3.9 to the shelter that we were planning on staying on and some guy just came by and told us that it was for sure closed because of a bear. He said we should go to Cosby Campground which is 5.3 down the hill off the AT and quite possible to get lost going down. Um, yeah, so we're kind of feeling kind of screwed right now because we just hiked 3.7 from a place that we could have stayed safely to go 3.9 to a place that's closed and it's illegal to stay. Or we could just keep on walking another nine miles or whatever it is, eight, seven, to get to Davenport Shelter in the dark and in the rain and the storm. Super. Like 19, 20, I don't know. In a pretty good bind. We're taking way too long. And I'm in way too much pain to do another seven and a half miles, which is what it is to the next shelter. Um, we're only about 5.5 miles, half a mile away from the shelter that's closed. Uh, because of bear activity. I guess there's like cameras there to watch the bear and there's like signs everywhere according to other hikers. Um... We've hiked about 13 miles today. It's another seven. It would be one o'clock in the morning hiking downhill in the rain. If we tried to make it all the way down. So I guess we're gonna try to put up a tarp and just try to stay warm for the night and hike in the morning. Everybody? See that big white roof down there? That's the shelter I can't stay in because Bear is being a jerk. <sighs> Don't know what we're going to do about that, but we're losing daylight for sure. Oh, man. There it is. 
the evidence that we cannot stay here. I don't know where we're ending up or what's going to happen to us tonight. And we know we could probably use some more water. Dan's going to fill up a little bit the filter right here while we are at water. And then we'll see what happens from there, I guess. Coming up on the low gap, I think, and the sun is shining real bright like. It's super pretty on all these flowers. That's the sunset shining on these. Cosby Campground, 2.9 miles down. <sighs> what to do, what to do, what to do. I no longer know what view we're on, but I see a city and a road and water and Hey, stuff. come here, us. Kidding. Well, we wouldn't have seen this sunset if we didn't go a bajillion extra miles today. So there's that. Dan's having some problems with his rib, so we are stopping. We still have a couple hundred feet to climb, and then we're done climbing. But we are, this is sunset right here. We are losing our daylight. Oh man, not really anywhere to sit. But he needed to take his pack off. So that's what we're doing. So we gotta go up some more. We're officially night hiking. Dan's slipping around, do not go that way. On the rocks, the Appalachian Trail goes down. We are not. Dan keeps slipping and falling. We're going up to the fire tower. Well, we set up camp right outside of that sign over there. You can't see the sign, but it's pretty much right next to it, where the trail breaks into two. Dan, you doing all right in there? Mm -hmm. Dan's hiding in the trees trying to set up a hammock in the dark. And I am set up exactly on the trail. I'm going to eat some nuts for dinner. Not going to cook anything. Hopefully get a little bit more water in my bottle. And go to bed. I'm gonna tuck away my bear canister somewhere. And then, uh, yeah, I guess that'll be it for the day. And we've got like four mile hike tomorrow, plus we're gonna go up to that fire tower in the morning and see that view for sunrise. We survived the night. The sun is coming up. I think we're gonna hike up to the view to catch the sunrise, although we may miss it by now because we have 0.6 miles to hike up if we're gonna do that. But the view is still supposed to be pretty amazing up there so we shall see if we make it up there so apparently we camped right at the elevation marker so this is i guess the top so we can't be climbing too much to get to that tower 4,949 feet how the heck do they measure that like, it's not like you can take a measuring tape and just measure stealth spot in the daytime there's the sign, the two different ways. Down is the Appalachian Trail toward Davenport Gap where we will spend some time. That sign says 5.2 to Davenport Gap. But Gut Hook says 4. So what the heck. Hopefully that means they rerouted Davenport. And that way is 0.6 to the fire tower, which is where I think we're going first, yeah? Up to you. Oh, I see it. There it is. 
Oh good, more mud. Another boulder scramble. Is it open? Yeah. Wow. Made it up to the top of the fire tower. We are above a sea of clouds. Looks like you could go swimming in it. It's not till 11. I mean, bears usually poop in like little piles. This is insane. This is a pile of like lots of little dots. What the hell? Horse? Yeah, but. No horses on the AT. I... Holy moly. Like, I'm gonna try to get some perspective to this video. That snail is happy. Look at the size of that pile of poop. And it's fresh. Whatever you are, we're just passing through, not trying to take up your territory. Jeebus. We're halfway down the mountain. I decided to stop and just stop. All the parts of me hurt. My teeth even hurt. Um, so we've got two more miles to get to the shelter and then I'm going to take a nap. And then we got to hike out to the road where we will meet Smoky Mountain Angel, who will take us back to our car, which will then take us back to civilization for a time. And then we're going to decide what to do next. It says no horses. There's all kinds of horse ties. Whew. 
There it is, down there. Ah! The only one, as far as I know, on the AT that still has the cage on it. To keep the bears out. Or to keep the heckers in. I don't know. Fort Shelter does not have a privy. You gotta hike up that trail back there and to squat to do your business a couple hundred feet up. It does have a fire pit. Most of the fire pits have been removed in the Smokies because people have been cutting down trees in order to make fires. Um, and uh, again, it's the only one, I think, that has uh, a cage left so that the bears can come to the human zoo. Cause you any problems? He's, He's gonna, gonna cross over for us. Here he is. Look at you, Ooh, baby, baby bear. Baby bear. There you go. Be safe. While I've got my video on, I'm going to turn and take a picture <laughs> of you. Hi! This is Smoky Mountain Angel, also known as what, U-Turn? Yes? Yes, U-Turn. <laughs> U-Turn, also known as Tina. She came to pick us up and rescue us and get us back to our car at Newfound Gap. And Yay. we saw a bear. And we saw a bear. That was so awesome. It's the first bear I've seen, believe it or not, this year. Oh, awesome. The Super 8 Motel. We got the room cheap because the pool's closed. At least I think that's why. We're in Gatlinburg. Um, they're actually, they gave us a room that they're actually in the process of cleaning right now. So we have to wait. We're super hungry, so we hope they hurry so that we can like get clean, get changed, and get out and get food. Problem is, there's nowhere to park in Gatlinburg, so you have to walk everywhere. <laughs> And we're in so much pain right now that walking is pretty daunting to anywhere, but we got a couple blocks to walk today. This is what I get for taking a cheap room. It's a smoking room. There's ashtrays, actual ashtrays in the room. Wow. That's going to take some getting used to for a couple of days. But whatever. Going to the Alamo. I cannot wait. Oh, look at all the ducks. Guys, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Oh my god. So my first summer has uh, come to an end um, on the Appalachian Trail. A little earlier than expected, but not too much. Um, injuries really are a big thing out, out here. Um, they don't, you, you gotta listen to your body. So I have 150 miles of AAT under my belt, which is 150 miles I did not have before. And uh, next time I get on the AT, which will be within the next year, um, Maybe I'll get a few hundred more. Get a little closer to my goal of finishing the whole thing. Imagine it's going to take me more years than I thought now that I'm looking at it. But um, I originally thought I would do, you know, three to four years. And now I'm thinking it might take longer unless I get a better <coughs> bout or a better amount of time somehow, which I'm not looking forward to having because I'll be working so. It'll just take me a little longer, and yay me, because that means I get to go back to the AT more times, um, spend more time on it. In any case, it's been a fantastic and terrible and wonderful and amazing and life-changing summer, and I expect that it will be different every single time because no day has ever gone like I expected it to out here. So, I uh, hope you were able to hear this, I'm talking a little bit quietly. I am uh, getting ready to meet up with a friend in Gatlinburg, I haven't seen in a long time, and then I am going to uh, pack up. We're going to take a couple days and head home for the summer.
spend some time with the kids and my pooch, who I miss a whole bunch. Um, the kids and the pooch, not just the pooch. Um, and I'm super excited for that. So this will be the last video of season one. And I hope you get a chance to watch this and I hope you get a chance to follow again next season when we do the rest of the Smokies and there's some really pretty stuff coming up next year for that season. So, um, see you next year.